convoy of familiar faces and some new ones. We'll find out soon. As the New South Wales Liberals finally meet to elect a new leader following last month's bruising election defeat. What we need is a strong, stable and sensible leader to hold Labor to account. I'm looking forward to Mark Speakman becoming leader of the Liberal Party today. Right-wing contender Anthony Roberts was cagey before the vote. No one else is running up against Speakman? We'll see. We'll see. He has, he has confirmed. Does he have your support? Well, we'll see. We'll see. In the end, the former Attorney General Mark Speakman emerged as Dominic Perrottet's replacement. It's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not me. <laughs> Mr Speakman winning 22 votes to 13 over Anthony Roberts. The deputy position won't be filled for another fortnight while the party considers a rule change that would open it up to members of the upper house. I um, am subject to those uh, amendments. Uh, if they are successful, yes, I will be putting my hand up. She is an outstanding individual and she would make a very fine deputy parliamentary leader. As a member of the Liberals' dominant moderate faction, Mark Speakman has talked up the need to modernise the party. They've promoted a man with a track record of driving significant reforms through Parliament. They include major changes surrounding affirmative consent and coercive control. Today's the day we stand shoulder to shoulder with victim survivors and their families. Now leading the opposition, he says he'll be constructive. We won't oppose uh, for opposition's sake where we agree with the government. I know his job's to hold me to account and I think that's a good thing in a functioning democracy, so congratulations to Mark. A shadow ministry will be finalised before Parliament returns next month. Kathleen Coldwood, ABC News, Sydney.